Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to use Camera Bag Photo, our filter focused photo editor for Mac and PC. I'm going to start by uh, clicking here to load an image. You can also press the O key to do that. And I'll load this photo. Um, the uh, panel on the right here is a, divided into two tabs adjustments and presets. Um, let's start by talking about adjustments. So you can see when I hover over each of these adjustments, um, it gives me an animated preview of the effect that they'll have. Uh, let me expand some of these other ones. Um, <clears throat> and some of these uh, can do quite a few things, so the, the animated preview isn't necessarily going to show you everything that it can do. Uh, but let me click on exposure, for example. So when I click on that adjustment up here, uh, it drops a tile down into the tray down here. And I can uh, then adjust that tile using the controls that pop up over it. So here I'm adjusting exposure. Uh, say I want to do saturation, I see saturation is up here. Uh, I click on that and then I can adjust that there. I'll do a little bit more of a uh, professional complicated one with a tone curve. Um, so I can click on the curve to add points and then edit the curve by dragging around the nodes that pop up over here. Uh, let me get that just how I want it. looks pretty good. Uh, with this one, like for example, there's a drop down where I can adjust the algorithm which the tone curve is using and you can see as I hover over the different options it shows me what they'll look like. And let's, uh, let's stick with the RGB adjustment there. Um, one handy thing to note is that uh, you can see so I've got these three adjustments and it applies them in the order you see here so I can drag them to rearrange them and sometimes that makes a big difference and sometimes it doesn't. But if I want to preview my image, what it looked like without the adjustments, I can hit the forward slash key on my keyboard and that will toggle all of the adjustments on and off so I can quickly compare um, to see if I, if I like the direction that I'm going. This latest version of Camera Bag includes um, a few new uh, adjustments um, and some that are tweaked. Uh, for example, this shadow highlights one. Uh, this used to be in previous versions back in Camera Bag 2. This was um, there was a single shadows adjustment and a single highlights adjustment. Now I've combined shadows, midtones, and highlights all into one, um, so I can adjust these individual uh, individually with these sliders right here. Um, and again, I can adjust the algorithm that it's using uh, to do that. Uh, another cool one, um, which comes from the the world of uh, video color grading. And with Camera Bag Cinema, you can use this on videos. These are color wheels where um, I can tint the shadows, midtones, and highlights using these these different wheels um, to determine the the tint color I'm going to do with that. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I just wanted to show those real quick. So now that I've shown you adjustments, um, if I if I like this adjustment, uh, one of the things I can do is save it as a preset. So I just hit the plus key. And I can save this as, uh, say, Brothers Preset. And you'll notice it popped open the, the Presets tab here, and you can see that the Brothers Preset is right there. So if I click this X to remove all of the adjustments I put down there, and click back up on here on Brothers Preset, then it will load all of these. And Camera Bag comes with a whole bunch of um, built-in presets, and you can see um, as I hover over them again, it gives me a preview of, of what each of those will look like. So if I click on one here, um, you can see it's it's loading the adjustments into the tray uh, that each of those presets is made up of. And if I if I hit the arrow keys up and down on the keyboard, then it just goes between these presets, so I can quickly um, uh, arrow between them just to compare things quickly. Another handy way to um, view all my photo and all the presets is if I hit the F key on my keyboard, uh, that brings up the full screen preview chooser. I'll just show you, there's also a button up at the top of the Presets tab called Quick Look. Uh, I click that and it does the same thing. Um, but you can see that there are these expandable sections and uh, here's a whole bunch, a big section of different uh, film grains that you can apply to your image and film stock emulations. Um, but uh, those are the basic ways to, to choose among the presets and then they're always, it's just loading the adjustments that that preset was made up with. So I can come in and um, 
adjust those. Let me find something that will have a bigger effect so you can see what's happening here. Um, and uh, customize any preset that I want. I could even save it as a new preset. One issue that you may run into um, is that when you're going through the presets, uh, maybe your photo, uh, the way it is without any adjustments, um, you want to do some adjustments and then try all the presets layered on top of those adjustments. So say for example, we want to see the presets, but we want to see it uh, after I've already adjusted the exposure because maybe my photo is underexposed. The way you do that is uh, there's a little pin icon on a tile, and if I click that, then anytime I go to load a new preset, you'll notice it keeps that pinned tile. And if I click delete right here, that also keeps the pinned tile. So now when I'm viewing my presets, or if I go into the quick look here, all of these presets, it's showing me what it will look like, not only with the preset, but with that exposure tile that I've pinned. And you can pin any adjustments that you want to keep um, just uh, so that you don't accidentally delete them. So I'm already over five minutes. This is supposed to be a five minute explanation. Uh, there's a ton more in Camera Bag Photo. Uh, try the, definitely download the trial on our website at neversenter.com um, and look at our other YouTube videos and we hope that you'll love it.